The James Webb Space Telescope has just unveiled something mind-boggling. A real image before the Big Bang. Yes, you heard that right. This revolutionary telescope captured a glimpse of the universe's infancy, giving us an unprecedented view of what existed before the cosmic explosion that birthed it all. So get ready, as in this video we will explore a cosmic revelation like never before as we dive into the awe-inspiring discoveries made by the remarkable James Webb Space Telescope. The James Webb Space Telescope has captured stunning images and made groundbreaking discoveries during its first year of observations. However, it claimed that it detected galaxies in the very, very young universe caused some confusion. Many believed this contradicted the Big Bang model of cosmology, leading to sensational headlines, but the claim turned out to be false. New research has confirmed that the distant galaxies observed by the James Webb Space Telescope are entirely consistent with our current understanding of cosmology supporting the Big Bang Theory. In the early universe, galaxies were expected to exist according to the ACDM cosmology, a modern version of the Big Bang Theory. This theory suggests that small density variations began forming when the universe was much smaller and denser, with no stars or galaxies. Over time, these density variations grew, attracting more matter and eventually forming the first stars and galaxies. The Webb Telescope was designed precisely to discover and study these initial galaxies. Therefore, finding galaxies in the very young universe actually supports the Big Bang Theory instead of challenging it. Images by James Webb of early universe prequel to galaxy cluster. Even giants have humble beginnings, and NASA's James Webb Space Telescope reveals the infancy of galaxies, a previously inaccessible chapter in the universe's history. The telescope has spotted six enormous ancient galaxies that challenge our current understanding of cosmology. These galaxies, known as Universe Breakers, emerged when the universe was just 3% of its current age. Their size defies what was believed possible for galaxies at such an early stage after the Big Bang. If verified, these findings could revolutionize our knowledge of how the first galaxies came into existence. A significant breakthrough came with the confirmation of a protocluster, a group of seven galaxies located at a distance known as Redshift 7.9 a mere 650 million years after the Big Bang. By analyzing the collected data, astronomers predicted that this nascent cluster would grow in size and mass, resembling the massive coma cluster seen in the modern universe. The unexpected aspect is the sheer mass of these objects. Joel Ledger, a study co-author and an assistant professor of astronomy and astrophysics at Penn State University, expressed surprise at discovering galaxies as mature as our own during what was previously considered the dawn of the universe. Earlier assumptions were that only tiny, young and baby galaxies would exist at this point in time. This is a truly remarkable discovery of galaxies going through rapid evolution, and the James Webb Space Telescope has given us an unprecedented ability to study them, said Takahiro Morishita, the leader author of the study published in the Astrophysical Journal Letters. Using Webb's near-infrared spectrograph, NIR spec, scientists made precise measurements that confirmed the distance between the seven galaxies and the high velocities at which they are moving, within a dark matter halo, surpassing 2 million miles per hour. The collected spectral data enabled astronomers to create models and predict the future growth of this galactic group, extending all the way to our present time in the modern universe. The prediction suggests that this protocluster could eventually evolve into something similar to the Coma Cluster, one of the densest known collections of galaxies with thousands of members. Analogously, the researchers compared the distant galaxies to small drops of water in separate rivers that eventually merged into a mighty river. Benedetta Vulcani, another team member, expressed this analogy to illustrate the expected outcome of these galaxies. Galaxy clusters are the most massive amounts of matter in the universe capable of distorting space-time through gravitational lensing. This phenomenon acts like a giant magnifying glass, allowing astronomers to observe objects located beyond the cluster. In this case, the research team used the gravitational lensing effect of Pandora's cluster to view the protocluster. Even with the advanced capabilities of Webb's instruments, they still relied on nature's assistance to observe such distant phenomena. Understanding how large galaxy clusters like Pandora and Coma formed has been challenging because the expansion of the universe stretches light beyond the visible wavelengths. This is where the James Webb Space Telescope, Webb, comes in. Its infrared instruments were specifically designed to provide high-resolution data about the universe's early stages. 
The seven galaxies observed by Webb were initially identified as potential candidates through data from the Hubble Space Telescope's Frontier Fields program. This program used gravitational lensing to study distant galaxies in detail. However, Hubble has limitations as it cannot detect light beyond the near-infrared range, which restricts its level of detail. So Webb took over the investigation, focusing on the galaxies identified by Hubble and collecting detailed spectroscopic data in addition to images. The research team believes that future collaborations between Webb and NASA's Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope will yield even more discoveries about early galaxy clusters. The Roman Telescope is a mission designed for high-resolution, wide-field surveys, with a field of view 200 times larger than Hubble's infrared capabilities. It will identify more proto-cluster galaxy candidates. Webb can then follow up on these candidates with its spectroscopic instruments to confirm their properties. The Roman mission is expected to launch by May 2027. The possibilities for scientific exploration with Webb are truly incredible, as highlighted by Tommaso Tru, a member of the protocluster research team. By successfully confirming the presence of seven galaxies in the distant protocluster, Webb demonstrates its potential for mapping dark matter and providing insights into the universe's early development. So, what's the conflict then? The tension arose due to the unexpectedly large sizes of the galaxies discovered. While still smaller than the Milky Way, they were considered massive for the early universe. This raised concerns among researchers, as their sizes seemed to challenge existing galaxy formation and evolution models. In fact, some researchers suggested that none of the galactic formation models within the ACDM framework could explain the rapid emergence of such large galaxies. A matter of some debate. The previous claims about the galaxy's challenging cosmological models were based on an unreliable method of measuring distance. To address this, a new team of researchers used the James Webb Space Telescope to determine distances with a more accurate spectroscopic redshift technique. This method analyzes the spectral lines emitted by the galaxies to measure their redshift and, consequently, their distance. With this improved method, the team discovered four galaxies that were just as distant as the previously identified ones but had confirmed and reliable distances. However, these galaxies were significantly smaller in mass, around 10 to the power 8 and 10 to the power 9 solar masses. Now, the question remains, can the ACDM model account for the existence of these smaller galaxies at such an early stage in the universe's history, or does the tension persist? In come the simulations. Galaxy formation involves various factors like gravity, star formation, dust distribution, and more. To understand how galaxies form, scientists use supercomputer simulations that follow the laws of physics and create artificial galaxies based on the early state of the universe billions of years ago. By testing different models through simulations, researchers can determine if these models can produce galaxies of a certain mass at a particular age. Fortunately, the ACDM model, which describes the composition of the cosmos, had no trouble generating galaxies with the masses of 10 to the power 8 solar masses in the early universe. This finding was reported in a research paper submitted to the Astrophysical Journal Letters. However, this doesn't mean the debate is settled. Astronomers may still discover a very large galaxy in the early universe that challenges our understanding of galaxy formation and even the ACDM model. In the realm of science, it's crucial to remain open-minded and willing to revise our theories based on new evidence. But for now, the initial claims made from the early data provided by the Webb Telescope are not cause for concern. So what do you think of these images of clustered galaxies taken by the James Webb Telescope? Are you surprised by these images? Comment your views and subscribe for more such videos.